up everybody I just showered and changed and packed so did James I took like a five minute nap which was nice but I'm having problems taking naps these days because I can't take naps during the day because of work so I'm just perpetually tired drinking very like watered down coffee right now but we're about to leave our room our hotel and go to Chichen Itza Chichen Itza is one of the seven world wonders and it is the it was the largest Mayan city in this region it has pyramids it's supposed to be really cool and I learned a lot about it but I forgot everything <laughs> but i'm i'm reading about it right now so i'll explain some more information the architecture is mayan so it's pre-colonial pre-columbian before the europeans arrived in the americas so really cool that it's still standing and preserved after all these hundreds i think it's from 600 bc or 600 a.d i was reading it in spanish so i'm gonna try and find the stuff in english because it said 600 bd or something like that i don't know what that means in english so i'm going to figure that out let you guys know um yeah the cenote here was freaking incredible our hotel room so i was gonna give you a tour but it's just one big room these ceilings are super high and now the beds are messed up because we slept in them but this hotel room is right next to the cenote really cute definitely would recommend staying over here we did a little photo shoot before we went into the cenote and i'll show you guys some pictures from it it turned out pretty cool don't look at my nails see you guys at chichen itza it's raining guys we're going to chichen We entered Chichen Itza. It was kind of weird entering. You have to pay. So the total cost is around 500 pesos, 497 pesos. You pay like 417 and then you pay 80 separately for whatever reason. I think it's like federal cost, it said. And I guess it's like if you're not Mexican, you have to pay. You them have to pay. different windows too. Yes, you pay, you pay twice like the 80 and then the 417, two separate times. You're not really allowed to bring in a professional camera unless you have a license but we got it and i mean we're professional anyways there's lots of vendors walking up to chichen itza and it actually was pouring rain like 10 minutes ago i'm really glad that it's not anymore and i think we're approaching the pyramids also we have to keep our face masks on the whole time this is actually the historical mayan market this is the historical mayan market Uh, pesos 250. Nice price for you for 200 pesos, my friend. We made it to Chichen Itza, the actual pyramid. And there's more here. Chichen Itza was the oldest, largest civilization, like I said before, in the Mayan, Mayan civilization in this region of Yucatan and it's pre-colonial and they built these pyramids, these structures. It was actually a huge city and these have still been preserved since then. And I think the civilization lasted about 600 years, which is insane. And then when the Americas were colonized by the Spanish and the Portuguese, the civilization kind of fell apart because of guns and germs and steel and all of the things that were brought over. Yeah, so cool to finally be here after learning about it for so many years and I want to go walk around and see more. Area that we're in echoes 
like an amphitheater. So if you're standing on one side and you speak into it, you can hear it on the other side. We didn't get a guided tour because I can Google this stuff and tell you guys. But that is always an option to get a guide. Learn about it as you go, but I also learned a lot about this before. in an echo you guys <laughs> that's so awkward <laughs> look at this thing what? oh that worked Hi. that echo worked oh can you guys hear that cool there's snakes head on the end of these should I read you guys what this says? Okay guys, I'm gonna teach you about Chichen Itza. So right now we're over here. Gran Hugo de Pelota. This is the Grand Plaza, which we'll go to next. There's actually a cenote here, and then there's more pyramids over here and temples. And this is the cenote sagrada, sacred cenote. So we're over here. Yeah. And then the cenote is here. But the one that's in the ground is over here, so we need to go back to the pyramid on the other side. Mm -hmm. So let's go do that. Walking to this sacred cenote for like an hour, <laughs> and I'm super hungry and sleepy and hot. And this is not the outfit to be walking to a sacred cenote in mud. But I think we're finally getting to the cenote. There's lots of vendors here too. Everything is a dollar. <laughs> super cheap. <laughs> Blow? No, gracias. Plata? <laughs> no, no, gracias. No quiero nada. I don't want anything because I don't have space in my luggage and I'm trying to be more minimalist. And we've arrived to the cenote. I'm going to go this way because it's not wet over here. Wow, this is a massive cenote, you guys. Muy grande. You can fit a lot of bodies in this cenote. Yes, we can. Muy grande este cenote. I'll show you. This is Cenote Sagrada in Chichen Itza, and it is a massive cenote which I don't think you can go swimming in, but it's huge and ancient. Looks way bigger in person, but you can't really see because there's trees and stuff. This is this mask is super thick, you guys. I'm hot. I don't know exactly what they did in the cenote, but I'm assuming that they went swimming. Cenote! Or put bodies in it. Fun fact, <laughs> there's this um, cafe in Austin called Cenote, and I didn't know what a cenote was like a year ago or so, and I called it Keynote Cafe. My friend was like, it's not Keynote, it's Cenote. And I was like, what's a cenote? Then she explained, and I was like, whoa! That's a cenote! <laughs> Who would have known? <laughs> Alright guys, we made it back from the Sagrada Cenote and I'm hot and I'm tired and my feet are muddy and everyone was trying to sell us something for less than a dollar literally casi gratis almost like five free pesos, like five pesos five pesos and this is a really cool thing behind me it is called templo de los guerros which means temple of the wars 
I'm pretty sure. That's a big bug over there. This building owes its name to the rows of pillars displaying relief carvings of warriors. Yes, Temple of Wars. So these are basically signifying, yeah, the warriors that fought in the wars. Very cool. It's right near the big pyramid. Yes, this is all so beautiful and cool. And I'm, I'm really more excited to be here than I'm showing right now, but I am just super exhausted after that cenote this morning, going swimming, walking around, it's hot. And also I started a three day fast today. So I haven't eaten anything and have not drank much water. James hasn't either. Also, that noise that you're hearing is like these instruments, things that they blow into and it has some sort of meaning. I think they used it for war or they used it to scare off animals or something, but you can scare buy them here. Spirit. Scare off the spirits. So yeah, we're gonna walk around a bit more and then we're gonna head back to Playa. So freaking hungry, guys. No, gracias. Yeah, thank you. Everyone is packing up their things. It's around, it's like 3.40 in the afternoon. And I think the last time you can enter is 4 p.m. or I think everything closes at around 4 p.m. We've been here for, I don't know, an hour or two. Word of advice, if you're coming, wear sunscreen, bring sunglasses, a hat, it's very hot. I put sunscreen on, thank God. And wear comfortable shoes to walk in because you're gonna walk for a while. We didn't get a tour today, but I would suggest maybe getting a tour guide. I don't know how much they cost, but there are tons of people offering them around at the entrance and I think it could be beneficial if you don't know exactly the history of the Chichen Itza so you can get the most out of your trip over here but this was incredible I learned a lot about it so it was cool to see it in person finally and really see more another cenote i'm okay not seeing another cenote for the day but i am making another video about the best cenotes to see when you're in tulum and yucatan area i've been to three so far wait i've been to one two i guess three whoa look at these ants so many ants I'm not going to step on those yes three like main ones that like i've swam in clandestino Cristalino, today Iquil, and then I guess we also went to Sagrada Cenote here, and I went to like maybe one or two unofficial cenotes. One of them was at a jungle party that was unofficial and don't have videos from it, but I'm making a separate video about the best cenotes to see. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Hit the bell, and yeah, we're gonna head out of here. We don't know where the exit is. We think. We're walking this way. Do you know where the exit is? Oh. In front of the temple, there's a whole way definitely to get out that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you guys get in? We don't remember. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh. <laughs> so if you go to the temple and then just keep going like that way, oh. there's definitely an exit because there's like a bunch of yes, yes, in the middle yes. of the street. Oh, yeah. That's where we came from. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. No worries. Gonna go back this way. We took the wrong turn. I do feel tired now. You feel tired? We're tired. The last thing we ate was yesterday at dinner, which was, might I say, a lot of food, but still. We did some physical activity today. We went swimming. We walked a lot. Okay, guys, we made it to the exit. We ended up walking like almost 10 minutes in the wrong direction, so 20 minutes altogether. But we're out and it's cloudy, so it's not as sunny and hot. I'm gonna drink lots of water and then head back to Playa del Carmen. What a beautiful short excursion we took from Playa. It was like two hours. Ya fuimos esta mañana. We already went to that cenote this morning. So now we're going home. And these are other places to visit in this area. Celestun. 
artist Vlid Chaltun El Chorchito Ek Balam. Wow, that's crazy. They have some crazy places in this region. 